Welcome to the NeurIPS 2025 EEG Foundation Challenge. The challenge focuses on two tough problems in EEG decoding. The first is cross-task transfer learning. So we have an active contrast detection task and the goal is to predict reaction time from the EEG right before the event. The question is, can we use data from other tasks like a visual discrimination task to boost performance? The second challenge is about generalization. We want to build models that can predict psychopathology in new individuals the model has never seen before. So the data set comes from HBN EEG with recordings from more than 3,000 participants across six cognitive tasks. So you can use any data for training, but during testing, your model will only get specific inputs. So for challenge one, you receive EEG from the contrast detection task and you must predict reaction time. For challenge two, you will only get resting state EEG and you must predict the psychopathology factor. Of course, you'll never see the test data directly. Instead, you model, uh, you'll train your model and submit it along with its weights on the CodaBench platform. So here is the competition homepage. So you have description of the data, etc. And we'll just jump to the starter kit. This is the starter kits, and so we'll go through the two notebooks, one for challenge one, one for uh, challenge two, and also how to submit a solution using the submission.py. Uh, so here, open in Colab, and there's a description of the task. I just want to focus on what really uh, matters here. So this section will download the data from AWS. Uh, if you have problem, there is also an option to download the zip file and process the zip files. So the import function uses the eg dash library, and that's the library that supports this challenge. It's an NSF project. To run the two notebook on the two challenge, you only need 1.3 gigabytes, but if you want the full mini batch of all tasks, you need 28 gigabytes, and then you want the full data for all the tasks, you need 300 gigabytes. So I'll show you at the end how to run it on the full data. So this line here imports the data as a PyTorch dataset, but not any PyTorch dataset. It's a class called Brain Decode that inherits PyTorch dataset. So why do you something so complex? Why not just a simple PyTorch dataset? Well, because we want to pre-process the data. The data arrives as a continuous dataset, and we want to segment it. We want to pre-process it. So that's what Brain Decode allows you to do. It has representation of individual samples for multiple subjects, but also representation of subjects so you can process the continuous data. And there's some visualization of the data, some explanation. All of this is extracting the small segment and pre-processing the data. And then uh, at that level here, uh, this is where uh, we split the data into training, validation. And uh, here at that level, uh, we create the model. So it's a very simple model here for the tutorial. It's called EEGNet. You see it doesn't have that many parameters, 62,000 parameter. And here's just some code to train the model, and then at the very end, you can save the weights, which we will be able to reuse in the submission.py file. So I'm not gonna show you challenge two because it's exactly the same outline where it first imports the data, then process it, and then run the model and save the weights. So it's using the same contrast change detection test for training because that's the mini batch and that takes less memory. At inference on the evaluation platform, it's using the resting data, although it's possible that it might change, so stay posted. Instead, I'm going to show you how to clone the repo and then run this on your machine and create a submission file. So first, I'm going to clone the repo and then I'm going to create a Python environment right here, activate that environment and then I'm simply going to run the first uh, model uh, by typing Python challenge one. And it's exactly the same as the notebook, except it's been exported uh, so it can be run on the command line. So now the model is done and we, are, we can see that it saved the weights. Now we're gonna run the second one, Python challenge two. It will take a while, but here it shows us done. And it will also save the weights. So here we can see the two weights saved. And now we're going to create our submission. We need to edit the file to change, you know, with the actual weight which are used. And now we're uh, going to zip it and send it to the website. So we're back on the submission website and now we're going to uh, select the submission tab. You need to register for CodaBench account. So you need to wait for approval. Once you're approved, 
you can go to the my submission and then select the file we just saved you just upload this file and then you just uh, wait it takes about five minutes and you might have to refresh the page then you see your score or if the job fails you can click on it and see any error then you can decide to add your score to the leaderboard and even to make your submission public I'm going to briefly show you how to change to use the full batch instead of the mini batch. So we'll edit challenge one, search for mini, and then here set this value to false. We can also change the list of tasks, use all the tasks uh, if we want to here by adding a list of tasks. So we're reaching the end of this presentation. First, a couple of tips. Uh, you can get started with Google Colab, but because the data is so big, it's probably uh, not do doable to do it for formal submission. Uh, second, yeah, although it's probably working on Mac and Windows, uh, you should use Linux and NVIDIA GPUs if you want a smooth experience. Uh, third, uh, poor change on the startup kits, there will be bug fixes, and also look for email updates. And uh, finally, all code is free and open source, so be kind, be patient, and feel free to do pull requests on the tools in this project. So this is an NSF project, but uh, Meta generously offer to cover uh, the cash price for the three top teams and also cover the travel costs for one person in each team to the San Diego NERIPS conference. These are all the other institutions involved because we don't want to forget anybody. This is the core team for this project, so if you're communicating with somebody, it's probably going to be one of us. And on these slides, we have the uh, extended team associated with this project. And finally, a couple of resources where you can get information and updates. So, happy brain hacking!